Hey, Nick here with Hasty Bake, and I want to show you what's on the grill this week. You're going to start off with a steak. You're going to tie it up and wrap it in bacon. We're going to top it with some wonderful toppings, and we're basically going to bake it in the smoker until it's completely done. Now, if baking it in the smoker sounds a little weird, I'm telling you, we're cooking on a hasty bake, which is made for that kind of thing, is a charcoal oven. But any smoker, any grill will work. You can do it in the oven as well, but I like to get that extra smoke in it, so we're gonna put it on the hasty bake, let that thing bathe around in some killer smoke and flavor, and this thing is gonna be absolutely phenomenal. To start off, we gotta build our toppings because they have to render down and cook before we can top the steak with them. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. I've got a pan in front of me, comes right out of the smoker because I wanted it to heat up before we started using it. We're going to start off by making the topping of the steak. We're going to take some diced onion and I've also microplaned some garlic that we're going to go ahead and put into this pan and start the searing process. Now remember this onion is going to render down so we want to go ahead and use quite a bit of it. It's about a whole medium sized onion right there. We're also going to put in this topping some diced mushrooms. Now you can leave the mushrooms off if you don't like them. I happen to love mushrooms and it's a wonderful top for a steak. Again, mushrooms are another thing that cooks way down. Now there's some duck fat in the pan already, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit these with a little bit more duck fat because I want one more thing to stick to them. And that's gonna be some hardcore carnivore Amplify. This is a wonderful flavor enhancer. We use it in all types of soups and dips and toppings around here absolutely killer flavor and it's going to meld with all the stuff that's in here it's going to make everything just kick up that flavor to 11. now we got to get this on the grill because we're going to get it nice and hot and reduced down we're going to hit it with some red wine to deglaze the pan and once that's all done all those flavors are going to meld it's going to make a killer topping for the steaks back to the smoker All right, while that topping is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and prepare these steaks because once that topping's all done, we gotta get these things topped up and ready to go back on the fire where they're gonna to bake to their final perfection. What we're gonna start with is some thick cut bacon and the two steaks. We have some fillets here today. The reason I like fillets is they're not overwhelming. They're a good manageable size for us to begin working with. So we're gonna tie these fillets up into a nice round. We're gonna put a piece of bacon around them. Now the way I like to do this is I put the bacon around them first and I tack it in with a toothpick and then we go ahead and tie it on top of that to make sure this thing holds its shape because we really do want it to be a nice round shape. So we're just going to take some of this bacon and stretch it a little bit so it goes around the whole steak. Now again that toothpick is just to hold it because now we're going to come in with some butcher's twine and go ahead and tie these things up. Now you don't have to tie them super duper tight, but you do want them enough that they're gonna hold their round. Now I like to leave a little bit of a tail on my twine. And the reason I do that is because it reminds me that there's twine on it when I'm serving it. I don't wanna forget to cut that twine off. Now that that's done, I'm gonna put one more piece of bacon on this because we actually wanna kinda of form a little bit of a lip on here. And that's the lip that all the toppings are gonna to go into. Again, let's stretch out that bacon a little bit. Now you see we have a little bit of a pocket. If you bring your bacon up, a little bit closer to room temperature when you're prepping like this, it will stretch a lot easier to get all the way around your steaks. Again, this is why a smaller steak like a filet works really well for this kind of recipe. So we got these two steaks prepped, a little bit of a lip. Now the last thing we're gonna do to them before we fill it with that filling that's currently cooking, we're just gonna go ahead and hit them with a little bit of seasoning. So just a touch of duck fat for that seasoning to adhere. We're using Hardcore Carnivore Black today. Black adds a killer flavor, especially to things like steaks. Really makes them stand out. But again, other than the amazing color you get out of it, it's just a perfect amount of flavor. So we're gonna season both sides of the steak. I'll let that go ahead and sweat out. Sit here on the board for a little bit. All right, our topping is done rendering. It's got some wonderful flavor on it. That wine just absolutely opened up as soon as we poured it in there and deglazed the pan with it. So this is gonna make an outstanding topping for these fillets. So we're gonna go ahead and start spooning this in. And the way to do this is you kind of start with the sides first 
so it holds the sides up because you want to try to get as much of this goodness as possible inside your little pocket here. Kind of keep pushing to the sides until you get a nice mount. All right, so we have both those filled now. Now a couple other things we're gonna do. One, we're gonna go ahead and top it with some cheese. Now any kind of cheese will work that's a crumbly cheese. I'm a big fan of blue cheese. We're using queso fresco today, but what we wanna do is go ahead and top it with that cheese and kind of fill the remainder of that hole because as we bake these, it's just gonna kind of melt down in and mix in with that mushroom, that onion, and just take all the flavor up to 11. Now the last thing, before these things go on the cooker, we're gonna go ahead and top them off with a little bit more seasoning now. We're just gonna go ahead and complete the hardcore carnivore trifecta today. So we're gonna use hardcore carnivore red. I'm gonna top it off, and I'm also gonna kinda hit the sides where that bacon is. Cause I wanna get some good color on that bacon as well. And that's kinda what hardcore carnivore red is all about, is it's the seasonal in there seasoning line, especially for pork and chicken. But it adds great color, works on so many different things, chicken, fish, pork, all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna put these things over the top. So I'm gonna take these, they're gonna go on the cooker. It's gonna be about 300 degrees in the smoker right now. We're gonna put it on the top rack. I have my hasty bake set to the bake position. Our goal here is just to get the steak done. So the bacon will crisp up a little bit. Keep probing it with a thermo pen until we get an internal temperature of about 128 degrees. That's what we're shooting for today. And keep cooking it until it hits that temp. All right, y'all, we're back. The inside of these steaks had 128 degrees, which is exactly what we were looking for. Take that string off because it did its job. It held these steaks in a perfect circle. So thank you, Butcher Twine. Now these steaks rested for about 15 minutes, so they should be completely done and ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and cut into one and see how it turns out. I can see inside there, we hit that medium rare we were going for. You get that line of mushroom, onion, red wine reduction mix. You got this nice gooey cheese on top. That bacon ended up being crisp. This is a really, really, really beautiful presentation for all your guests to enjoy. They're kind of a fun little decadent way to just treat yourself and really enjoy uh, a steak that's a little bit different than the normal steak you have. So try these at home. Let us know in the comments what you think about them. We love to send these recipes out to you guys every week and just hope that you guys are experimenting and, and firing up the grill and cooking all the time. And that's our goal behind every single one of these that we do. So hit that subscribe button, follow us on social media for more stuff like this. And thanks for joining us on the grill this week.